Welcome to another video. Today I have a large terracotta pot that I'm going to be potting three flowering, currently flowering African violets into. They're all noids. The first one I'm going to pop in is a white and mauve single petal pansy African violet, large standard. The second one I'm going to be potting is another noid and it's got these lovely little mauve violet colored flowers, also a single petal. And then the third one I'm going to be potting is a single partially semi-double um, maroon colored noid African violet. So three noids, which just means no identification into a large terracotta pot. And I'm going to use also, just to make it a little bit pretty at the end, some of these, no, they sort of look a bit more violet on the camera, but they're sort of more, they're blue in real life, blue glass beads, just for a decoration. So when it gets watered, it will look stunning. So to start off with, we need to put a little bit of African violet soil in the pot. In the bottom a little bit more now you can plant African violets in terracotta the secret though is that you have to make sure that you water more regularly with the terracotta pot because terracotta will dry out the soil a lot faster so you just need to be a little bit careful using terracotta um, just to make sure that you definitely water more regularly than if your plants are in a plastic pot. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. And you can see the little flowers. It's like a party colour, mauve and white. And I'm going to sit that one, just sit its leaf on the edge, just there. I'm going to put the maroon noid next. Towards the front. There. And then the lovely mauve. Being careful not to break any leaves. I might sit that one around this way. And to this side. Now just more soil I'm just going to go and get a little bit more soil it is quite a large pot Kind of maneuver it around the leaves you always get a little bit of dirt on the leaves there's not really much you can do about it but you can clean it off at the end now if you're going to put a decoration on the top of this of any African violet, it's really important that you, if you put something like pebbles or gravel, you don't cover the entire area with pebbles or gravel. And the main reason for that is that African violet roots need to breathe. And if you cover the entire area with pebbles or gravel, they don't, it makes it very difficult for to, for the roots to be aerated enough so you can put decorations on the top to make it pretty but just don't cover the entire area okay the last little bit of soil now, unfortunately I always make a bit of a mess 
In fact, I think I need a little bit more soil. Hang on, I'm just going to grab a little bit more soil. This is a very big pot. That's got it. That's nice. Something that I've had happen too is that when I've planted African violet plants out, if I've accidentally buried a portion of the leaf, what actually has happened on a number of occasions is that I've had little babies propagate from it. So it's it's quite amazing how African violets do just propagate for very very easy from leaves i know a lot of people might have trouble with it but really is the secret is if you just get the right amount of water soil and light you will get babies it's just a matter of time and practice to work out what is the correct amount but it is really really exciting though when you do get those babies all right now i'm just going to give the water a little bit of plant a little bit of water i mean And rinse off some of these leaves a little bit. And then we're going to blow the dirt off the leaves, which I don't know if we'll be able to get, get some of it off. Just over time, it will, if you just keep blowing it, you will get the dirt all off the leaves. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> a bit more over there. We'll probably need to get a cloth for this one and clean them off, but I'll do that after. So now we've got our pebbles, glass or glass beads. And we can just sit a few around just as a pretty decoration, add a little bit of colour. a few more just over here and I'll show you in a second because I know you can't see it with the leaves there a little bit of water it's nice and shiny and pretty okay so there we have it And you can use all different sorts of decorations, just whatever you like. But it just allows you to be a little bit creative and just have a bit of fun with your African violets. So in about a month, I'll show you this pot again once it's all settled and all the plants are happy and, and have all got accustomed to their new environment. And I'll show you and um, show you how it goes. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll have a go at um, creating your own spectacular African violet themed garden. Um, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments below if there's anything you'd like to see, any problems you're having with your plants or anything you'd like um, help with. I'm happy to help. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.